hey everyone so welcome back to another tutorial and this is the third video of the woocommerce tutorial series and the first two part i have shown you how to list a simple product and in the second how to list a variable product uh, like t-shirts which have different sizes colors and etc and in this third part video i will show you how you can uh, list a digital product uh, ebook like uh, for example if you have a website with an info product like you're selling your own ebook or, or you, you have a recipe website and you are selling your uh, you want to sell your recipe ebook so I will show you today how you can do this with WooCommerce WordPress and it's very easy to do so first let's go create a new uh, product on a website and um, okay it's a little slow right now the internet for some reason so there may be a little delay uh, please manage and the first thing we have to do is um, write the product name for example let's say um, my um, let's say um, grandma's grandmother's group okay um, vegan recipe book okay or just recipe book let's remove that okay uh, yeah it can be anything it can be any kind of book okay and um, so if you want you can add the long description here like um, what it can uh, all the contents uh, of your book okay some preview like what kind of recipes they will get you can include images and all this will be the long description and um, if you have watched my previous videos you would know that um, how, where this will appear I will also show you first let's visit the store here and um, these are the two products uh, this uh, Nike running shoes and uh, Nike shoe um, so these products I created for the tutorial um, so let's um, open this and uh, okay your long description will appear here and this will be the short description okay so for example you can list uh, various content like what kind of uh, you know recipes they will get in the book or whatever your book is about you can list what kind of content they will get into it and some preview images and stuff like that uh, you can if you want you can add that in the long description and once you have done that come here scroll down product data simple product and select here downloadable and virtual okay because it's a uh, virtual and downloadable both okay so uh, we are not selling a hard copy of the book so uh, for the regular price just um, quick uh, put anything like uh, like 19.99 or something um, okay if you want you can uh, pick a, create a sale price let's say um, we are selling it on sale for 15.99 and then we have to add a file okay um, I didn't create a PDF file let's see if I have something um, you can select the file name here like um, put your recipe book okay and this will be the URL of your PDF okay so I created a PDF file and let's upload it okay and then insert file URL the PDF file URL will be automatically entered here so then you can set the download limit let's say um, you want your customers to be able to download it um, five times okay and the download link will be valid for let's say one month or six months so you can put up put the number of days here let's say um, it will be valid for one month okay after one month they will not be able to download it and they will have to download uh, by purchase it again so and then um, we do not need to manage inventory and uh, other products um, if you have a similar book you can link it here and uh, we'll skip the attributes go to advanced uh, you can enable uh, enable or disable review and enter a purchase note here like um, thank you for thank you for purchasing this book okay something like that 
and then get menu option okay we do not need to do it um okay sorry okay yeah go to the inventory i was looking for this option and tick this option sold individually so what it will do is it will do uh, only uh, one they will be able to only order one copy of this book because it doesn't make sense to order multiple copies of the same a book so um, tick this option and then um, uh, put your sh short description here short ebook description okay and then uh, we have to select a product image okay you can put your uh, book product image here and um, if you have multiple images you can add all this from this option add product gallery images and once you have done that then this um, select the product category let's say I don't have a category right now let's first create a book books and um, that's, that's the main category and then um, recipe book and let's make the books parent category and add this so it should be selected and um, add some tags here that um, recipe book pdf ebook okay then add it here and we are ready to publish it um sorry about the voice i have a bad throat today and um i hope it is manageable and okay it is done let's view it um yeah okay okay so you can see here that it is currently on sale and home books um this is the recipe book this is the product image we selected and this is the short ebook description and um, this is the long description here and the reviews are enabled so anyone can uh, put reviews here okay and um, like best book available okay let's make our review and then um, and you can see this option that there is only uh, option to add to basket we cannot change the quantity of the order so it is because we added the uh, option of sold in uh, sold uh, selling it individually so if we add it to basket um, let's see the basket and um, you can see here on other products we can change the quantity but uh, for this ebook we cannot change the quantity okay so that's it for this video i hope you found this video useful and uh, please leave your uh, feedback in the comments and leave a like if you like this we are if you want this video useful and subscribe for more more tutorials and um, you can also if you want to watch other woocommerce tutorials you can find the link in the description of the playlist and also in the comment section it should be the pinned comment and um, if you need help with anything you can post in the comments and i will try my best to help you out so i will see you in the next video